and a 2 0 victory here today at Meadowbank. And crucially, a clean sheet. Yeah, great clean sheet for the guys. Um, and they really had to earn it. You know, fair play to Dawkins. They threw everything at us. Um, you know, second half in particular, everything. Our goalkeeper made some big saves. So even though it's a 2 0 result, it was a, it was a funny game because we had quite a few chances. I felt we should have put it to bed. And then they had chances, you know, uh, where they could have, you know, nicked one, maybe two, if and made it a completely different day at the office. But, you know, my team's ground out a clean sheet, a tough place to come. Um, and, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm delighted, you know, delighted we've got the three points on the road. Probably one of those games that could have been any scoreline, really, looking at it. Yeah, it's not it's not easy coming here, you know. I mean, look, the, the atmosphere here is great. I, I, I really like coming to Dawkins. Um, you know, I, I think they really create a nice atmosphere. You know, I'm not just saying it, they're really lovely people. Um, so, and, and I really like the manager. I get on really well with the manager, Mark. So, you know, it's the hardship of the business, though. You know, we want to win every game and against anyone. And um, like you say, coming here is not easy. And, and we, we've, we've ground out a good, a good victory, I think, today. Could have had a few more goals hitting the post, hitting the bar. But the ones that did go in, two really good finishes. Yeah, I mean, look, we could have had a few more. But I think what's really important is I've been a bit critical with the lads. You know, we haven't kind of created too many chances of late. You know, we've been a little bit... You know, not kind of creating as much, but today we was excellent. You know, uh, I felt the game plan we had in place uh, that we worked on, the lads stuck to that. Um, we knew their threats um, and we nullified them to a degree um, and, and we took our chances, you know, so uh, really, you know, the two chances that mattered. So move on to the next one. It's, it's, a, it's an important three points at this stage. Great goal from Callum Reynolds as well. You wanted more goals from your defence and uh, you've got one today. Yeah, it's um, yeah, it's something we've worked on. Um, don't like saying too much. But yeah, it's nice when a plan comes together. Back at home to Woking on Monday, the games are thick and fast over this Easter period. Yeah, I mean, look, I think we all know what I'm going to say here. You know, this don't count for much unless you get the result on Monday, and that won't be easy. Um, so, you know, we've got uh, you know some tired legs in there, and I'm sure Woking will have the same. So we've got to make sure we're ready for Monday, and uh, we, we go out there and... Um, and give a performance because I think that's what it's about now, performance and I think the, the results will come and that's that's key for us now. You made a couple of changes to the team from last week and two that seem to stand out today. Alex Kirk and Jude Arthurs, what did you make of their performances? Well, look, I don't like to pick out anybody and, and, and the changes, etc. But, you know, everyone that's come in has done well um, and, and it's going to take all of us. I said that, you know, even Kamal Grant, you know, he, he, he's come out and he's disappointed naturally. You know, past didn't start, he's disappointed. Bez, you know, he's been brilliant for us all season. But it's going to take all of them, you know, they're all going to have to get us across the line. Jude, Jude, you, you know, we know what we're going to get with Jude. He's just an honest, for me, he's, he, he sort of typifies everything every fan wants. Someone that gives everything, every game. And uh, I thought he was excellent, Jude. You know, he does all the, all the sort of. Uh, the non-glamorous stuff that, that that people don't always appreciate or see and, and fair play to Jews you know as long as he sticks to that he'd be great you signed Will Davies earlier in the week and got a first look at him today what do you make of him well I, I tracked Will for a little while um, and, and he decided to go to York um, so it's nice that he's come to us I thought uh, yeah I thought he gave us a bit more up there as well um, you know we needed we needed another body or two in the door um, and we got Will and, and I'm delighted to have him and I think uh, you see that he's a strong boy, you know, and um, I think you'll, I think you'll work well to the way we play. I really do. So I'm, I'm chuffed to have Will board. I think the away crowd was announced at 549 today. What a level of support! Really good, you know, and it's it's, it's nice because we had a level of support last week at home, and we we didn't quite hit the hit the markers that we normally hit, but today we did, and it's nice that they'll go home today. They'll be happy, uh, ready to go, you know, again on Monday. We we, we can't thank them enough. Um, you know, again though, you know, Dawkins fans were excellent. You know, it's a really good atmosphere for a, a game and a really, in my opinion, a really good advert for um, National League football, you know, both teams. So, you know, and I'm not just saying it because we won. Andy, thank you for your time as always. Thank you.